All right, so you had some time to work through the onomatopoeia page. Let's go through these. Let's see if you can figure them out. Some of them were kind of tricky. Yeah. All right, the first one. The bird loves to chirp. chirp. Correct, I agree. Chirp, a merry tune. The tick, tick of the clock kept me up all night. The food on the stove made a nice Pop. sizzle. I think sizzle is the best choice because food will sizzle on the stove in a pan. Four, she kept making a, what kind of a click noise with her pen and it drove the teacher crazy. Are they talking about me? Yeah. I think they are. Five. The little dogs like to bark, 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 bark at the cat. Six, something upset the lion and it made a loud roar. roar. Yes. Seven, I heard the ruler. Snap. Bang. Bang. Snap. Snap is the best choice because bang will fit better somewhere down a little further. Eight, his teeth started to chatter, 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 yes, outside in the cold. Nine, the fire made a pop. pop. This one's tricky because for other sounds down below, How many of you had pop? Nine. Nine. Because I put pop on 12. The wheel went pop yeah, as we ran too. over a nail in the road. Because yeah. it would a wheel possibly pop yeah. because of that. So then what would work for nine? The fire made a snap. Maybe some of you think snap. I put crack. Where did some of you put crack then? The top. Yeah, the top. No, the chalk screech. Yes, think about that sound chalk makes on a chalkboard. It makes a screech sound on a chalkboard. So that was 11, the screech we sound. I know, we're trying to fill in some that you thought went in one place. All right, so now let's go back to nine. The fire made a snap. Have you ever sat by a fire mm -hmm. and it makes like that crackling sound? Mm -hmm. So what could the fire, the fire made a what? Yeah, I think a crack, because I was thinking of like that crackling sound. And then 10, as the car started up, it made a loud screech. No, not screech. Bang. A bang. A lot of times those cars backfire like that. And it, <laughs> yeah, it does. It almost sounds like it's going to explode. Okay, then we're down to what, 13? Is the wheel, because we did the chalk one, we talked about the wheel. And the duckling quack, quack behind, behind their mother. Her dress made a Wish. swish Wish. noise as she walked. And the bees buzzed. Oh, I just said it. The bees happily buzzed, buzzed around the garden. All right. Here's the next thing we're going to do. You have that word search. You can just do that when you have some free time. But what we're going to do now is I want you to try to think of maybe 
even a different onomatopoeia word, choose one onomatopoeia word. When you have that in your mind, just put your hands on your hips. It doesn't have to be some that we've gone over. It might be one that you think of on your own. going to be zip. All right. So now, when I think of zip, I think of like a zipper, right? The sound that it goes zip when you zip it up. So what I would do is I'm going to have and of course, I don't have a zipper to all of you here. Okay, so it kind of has the, uh, let me start over. Put it closer together. So it kind of has the little jagged things here. And they come together, right? and it has the little zip thing there. But then off to the side, you got the breath. I'm gonna write kind of a cool word. Now, I didn't do it on this card, but like, this is an onomatopoeia word, zap. Okay, what would zap be associated with? Like one of those bug zappers. That's what I thought too, the bug zappers. You know, the ones that like electrocute the bugs mm -hmm. when they fly into the light and they go zip. Okay, so I didn't draw a picture with mine, but I could have drawn like a little bug zapper over there with a flag you know, kind of stuck to the light on it. All right, but I want you to think about how you would show an onomatopoeia word. I'm gonna give you a note card just like this. You're gonna put your word on there. You know what? You don't have to draw a picture to go with it. Let's just do our word making it like in cool letters if you want to. You can, you know, color the card. Let's just do it like this. But come up with your own onomatopoeia word to do on your card. And then we'll, maybe we'll hang them up over on our board back there. Can we put our names on the back? You can put your name uh, on the Ms. back. Lopez, I, don't, I don't know how to spell it. I can help you with spellings if it's something that you're stuck with. Okay. Mine. All right. Does this make sense to you then? No picture, right? No. Just a cool way to draw your word. And can you use kind of You can use markers. I use markers. It makes them so much brighter. Yeah. No other questions? No. Okay. Will you color them? Mm -hmm. What are you doing for your card? You uh, those can, in just a second, I'll have you put them in your either in your home folder or you can put it in your mailbox, um, it's up to you. Can you draw like that bubble thing you want? You sure can. You don't have to do it like this either. You can create your own. Maybe you want it to have like... A red bubble. Yeah. Or a maybe... Bubble. Like a different color bubble. Or maybe... Um, so if I do... What was my word? Zip. Zap. Zip. Zip. Zap. Oh, this is zap. Duh, Mrs. Lofink. Zip. Do 
you do something like that? Do you have to do something around your word? No. No. Maybe you want to do your word, and you're going to do things around it. I was going to put a bow. Okay, it doesn't matter. You create it how you want it to be created, and then we'll display our onomatopoeia words on our bulletin board. Got it? Why did it do one commercial? Awesome. It's from the mama pig. All right, so when you get your card, you're going to draw on the blank white side. The back side has lines on it. But if you want to put your name on the back side, go ahead. Can you start writing when you've got you it? You may start when you get your card. Okay. 